What is up, guys? Salamander here. I. Hold on. There we go. Much better. Holy shit. I could not hear myself think here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So, first and foremost, happy Valentine's Day. Um, hey, now the music stops. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I thought it'd be really funny and really interesting to do a dating sim on Valentine's Day, because why the fuck not? Um, <laughs> so before I go any further, let me just say that I looked at the ratings and this has, from what I understand, strong language and it also has some sexual content. So fair warning to everybody out there. Anybody who's not comfortable with that, you're free to not watch this. You're free to leave. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, go. you can stop watching right now. You don't have to watch this. You're completely fine. Um, there's nobody on stream right now, so I'm not really talking to them. So anybody who's watching on YouTube right now, do not, for the love of God, watch this if you're underage especially. Like, parents, keep an eye on your kids. Do not have them watch this. I don't know what kind of sexual content this is. From what I understand, this is a... Um, no, you do not get to pick which girl you date. You're literally playing as one of the girls and you're dating the other one. That's pretty much what it is. So this is a lesbian uh, relationship that's going to happen here. Uh, my God, them thighs, though. I'm sorry. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I honestly, like, was kind of curious about this. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know... From what I understand, there's sex some sexual content in there. So, like I said, anybody who's not of age, please do not watch this. Do not do this. Hopefully, this music is not copyrighted. I don't know how long this game has been out for, but all I can tell you right now is that it's it's out here now. So, there you go. Um, I just thought it would be really funny to do a small dating sim. I don't know how long this game is. And I kind of don't plan on stopping stop playing this until oh god excuse me until I complete it so we'll see what's gonna happen so the premise of this game like I said you're playing with one of the girls you're gonna be we're gonna be playing a smiley and it is to basically you know charm Emily into being in a relationship with us the thing about it is that Miley this is the, she's never been in a relationship with a female before so, so I mean I have some experience dating women not that great as you can tell I'm playing this on Valentine's Day so uh, but all in all I mean I've never been a lesbian relationship before so I mean this will, this will be an interesting experience <laughs> uh, but with that said I, I, I don't know how long I can prolong this like I said I'm going to play this until it, I, it we're done with it I, I don't have anything to do tomorrow I'm, I'm off so yeah I, I guess let's just let's let's, let's play it let's start Presented by Darker Studios. All characters depicted within this game are at least 18 years of age or older. So please be of 18 years of age or older. <laughs> okay. Uh, auto skip back. Okay, cool. I don't. Was there audio in this? I don't even know if there's audio in this. Okay, I guess not. So we're playing a smiley for the record. Uh, God, should I do the Aaron Hansen protagonist now? <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake, Miley. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, Miley. Get a hold of yourself, girl. You didn't want to go to that stupid party anyway. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just going to sound more hilarious if I do it this way. I slam my apartment door behind myself and lean against it. I wouldn't have been boring and pointless and you didn't belong here. Oh, it wouldn't have been boring and pointless and you didn't belong there. It It's not like you had any friends that were going. I strain my eyes, forcing back the threat of oncoming tears and draw a centering breath. It, it's so lifelike. You can tell how she's doing that right now. There. As long as no tears make it down my cheeks, that means I'm not crying. I... I just have a lot of feelings. I mean, we all do, girl. Like, shit. Is that really true? If t if no tears making down your cheeks, so what? If your eyes are watery, what is that? 
What is? I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just being very. I'm being an asshole. It's Valentine's Day. And I'm single. I'm just being an asshole. I'm sorry. A tear splashes wetly against my cheek, and my resolve crumbles. Oh wow, that's all it took. One tear. I mean, I get it. I've been there. It ain't a fun place to be, but uh, it's there. Wah! <laughs> and full dramatics, I slide slowly and miserably down the door. I sound such an like such an asshole right now. I can't believe I've been through to oh up and brought to this. If I can read, that'd be great. Crying in the middle of my living room because I didn't get invited to some. What the fuck is that word? Cantankerous old teachers after school retirement party. Wow, really? Arguably the worst and most boring of parties. Like for real though. Like <laughs> I might as well just do that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm being more dramatic than my students are around finals. Students around finals. Oh, she's a teacher. I did not know that. I didn't know that about this background story. So she's just teach. She's just teacher. Okay, cool. But I know it's not about the party. Not really. It's about this heaviness in my chest that won't seem to go away. These days, I drag it around with me everywhere. I thought I was doing all the right things. I moved to Paradise Cove, a seaside town. I've always a seaside town. I've always dreamed about and, and got the job I wanted. A guidance counselor. I'd. At a lo local academy, I cannot read for the life of me. I'm sorry, I haven't. And I read Yu-Gi-Oh cards, not for a living, but I read a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, okay, so, okay. I don't know. Let's just keep going. It all happened so quickly after university. My whole life felt like it was lining up perfectly. And now, I don't want to admit it, but I know the truth. I'm just so lonely. No matter what I try, the teacher just won't see me as one of them. I don't know, you're, you look pretty young, and that might be the thing. Are you hanging out with a lot of old teachers? I don't know, man. When they told me about the party today, I got so excited to finally be included. I didn't realize they just wanted me to decorate the room for them. Oh, you must have some really good de cure. De decor. Is that what it's called? I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know decoration people, what the fuck. The English teacher had scooped my present out of my hands, sweetly assured me she would pass it along, and told me that I could go home. Oh, that's really harsh, though. That's really harsh. Why couldn't we witness that, though? I would I would have been more dramatic about it, but anyway, mo mo moving along. I glance around my empty, blurry apartment and sniffle. Unless you have your own fucking apartment. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I live with my parents still. I'm sorry. It's, I'm just like, don't fucking cry to me about your fucking apartment. I know it's lonely, but motherfucker. At least you got your own privacy, damn it. I know I have to find my own way out of this rut. I've been trying. But who does the guidance counselor go to when they need guidance? You're the guidance counselor? I thought you were a teacher. Okay, whatever. Oh. Clumsy, I fumble for my phone, digging it out of my purse. Where's your purse? Where's your purse? I don't see. Okay. I leave it on silent during the school day, and my hope soars at the thought of a missed notification waiting for me. Oh, sister, you're preaching. You're preaching right now. God damn. Usually, I wouldn't be so optimistic. I left all of my childhood friends behind in my hometown when I moved out to Paradise Cove. That's... Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Hold on. Uh, how do I do it? Sorry. Somebody tried to scam me and I'm not up for it. I forgot to get rid of him, but that's so cool. Did I read this already? 
Usually I wouldn't be so optimistic. Uh, I fell out of my childhood friends. I left all my childhood friends behind in my hometown when I moved out of the Paradise Cup. Okay, cool. <laughs> no one I know has any reason to contact me except a few days ago I signed up for my very first dating site profile. Oh god, dude. Online dating is not that great for me. That is just nah, -uh, not for me. It still makes me blush when I think about it. I never thought I would be someone who tried to. Uh, <laughs> let's try that again. It still makes me blush when I think about it. I never thought I would be someone who tried out one of those sites, especially some. <laughs> Fuck. Especially some one of the students fondly called technic technology illiterate. Oh wow. Any computer, phone, app, or microwave will happily self-destruct in my hands. That is not possible. Unless you're burning your food in the microwave, and that's a different story. Or unless you also put freaking uh tin foil or just yeah, some sort of tin foil in the freaking freaking microwave. What don't let fucking do that. I've always been tempted to try just to see what would happen, but I know what's gonna happen, even though I, I, even though I'm still curious. Anyway, moving on. But I navigated the endlessly confusing online landscape and finally put my name out there. Nervous, I opened up my phone and stared with bleak hope into its cold, impersonal light. A notification. My fingers spam clumsily in my eagerness to open it up, tapping desperately on the glass. The fuck? Are you like literally going like... Hold on, are you really going like... On the freaking phone? <laughs> Don't, you're gonna break your phone, girl, Jesus. Worlds flash up in front of my eyes. Notification. Battery power, 15%. <laughs> oh my god. 